this video I'd like to introduce the concept of economic cost. I already wrote here everything that's necessary for me to go through the content that I'd like to talk about. So I will just describe a bit in more detail what I've written so far. As you can see, I wrote here two types of costs, explicit and implicit costs. Now, what is the difference between them and why do we have to keep it in mind? The reason being is that in economics, we learn to think from a big picture standpoint. We learn to consider the opportunity cost of every decision. The opportunity cost is going to be the next best alternative when we make a decision. So in order for us to make better decisions, we want to consider what we're giving up. We want to consider how much resources we're giving up. We want to consider how much money could we make in our next best alternative. So what are going to be our explicit costs? These are going to be the direct payments that we make as a firm. For instance, when we pay for our employees, a wage of an employee is going to be an explicit cost. We pay for it. However, an implicit cost is going to be the opportunity cost of the resources owned by the firm that could have been used elsewhere. For instance, as an entrepreneur who owns a firm, the entrepreneur could have an alternative job instead of starting that firm. So therefore, the entrepreneur is giving up a wage and income from a job in, in exchange for running a business. So therefore, the opportunity cost for the entrepreneur is the labor that he could have provided to another company. Therefore, when we are considering the both types of costs, as a firm, we must consider how much payments do we actually have to make for our labor, for our capital, for our land. And on top of that, how many resources are we giving up by doing what we are currently doing? How many resources that we own at the moment could be used somewhere else? Another example could be, for instance, if we as a firm have a building and we want to use it in order to produce our products, well, the implicit cost of having that building would be the opportunity cost of owning the building and that building could be rented out and generate income. So therefore, the implicit cost is the income that we're giving up from the rent of the building in exchange for using it as a production facility. Hope this makes sense. Now, this is the introduction to the concept of economic cost. In the next video, I want to talk about the difference between accounting profit and economic profit, such that you will see better how these costs are relevant for that discussion. Anyway, hope this all makes sense. I appreciate you all watching. If you like the video, please make sure to subscribe and we are done.